but you start camp on a on a Monday and you get these young ladies that are really timid and shy to start picking up tools. By the end of the week, they're telling us to get out of the way because they've got it handled. So uh, you can see the feeling of empowerment that they get throughout that week and and, and the just the character that it's building in them is, is amazing. That's the whole benefit of this camp is to show these women that they can do it. One of the things I've seen that it really boosts their confidence. It, it makes them not afraid to accept challenges and try new things. You get some of these girls who can hardly stand up and talk for themselves and by the end of five days they're walking right up to strangers and introducing themselves and saying this is what I just built and this is what we did and uh, these are the skills that I learned and to see that growth in these young ladies in, in just such a short time is, is, is huge. It, it introduces them to the real world situations in, in its own little way. Plus it, it tells them, you know, they'll come in and they'll say, oh, I, can't, I can't do that power saw. Well, by the end of the, end of the week, they're yielding power saws, you know, like it, they do it every day for a living. We can't lose this trade. And that's what, you know, building America is all of our resources of different skills and we're losing them in certain fields and we need to get them back and keep them. And male or female, we got to have these jobs filled. And uh, I think so far with the girls here, and this is my second year doing this with, with uh, Linda and uh, Jan, was that they, like I said earlier, I came here to inspire them and instead they inspire me. When it came time that we decided the girls wanted us to do another year, we said, well, we can't teach the girls over again. If they're coming back, we can't present the same program to them. So that's when we added the second tier where they needed projects done on the, on, on the campus. So it's the girls are giving back to the community and that's part of what the construction industry does. It's a valuable, it's a valuable experience and so many of the adults say I wish, I wish they'd had something like this when we were, when we were in high school because their whole career, maybe their career path would have been entirely different. It's really nice that I get to bond with my dad and like go home and tell him what I did and him be like really impressed because I'm doing what he does for a living. Like when I look around I see, oh my gosh, people actually did this and it's like totally different what, than what I saw before. I would just like pass by like the street lights not even noticing that it's actual pipe and like just like, oh, we drive along. But now that like I actually see how hard it is to bend it and just like put it together, it's just it's just really cool. They, they might like one of these trades, but they say, oh, well, I'm a, I'm a girl, I can't get into these trades, and it shows them that they can. They're exposed to very different types of construction, so it just gives them exposure to welding and to carpentry and to sheet metal and plumbing and electrical. I mean, it, it's just a great way to get a little bit of exposure to all these gals. This camp is amazing. I mean, it really truly is um, the success that it's bringing and hopefully leading some of these young ladies into the construction industry. Um, I'm sure you've probably talked with a few of them that uh, are working in the industry right now. We've had apprentices, you know, ladies leave the program and uh, maybe not right after it, but within a couple of years, they're, they're going into an apprenticeship program uh, and they love their career. And, uh, you know, it's opening up new doorways to them and new pathways that for, you know, may take them to a spot in their life they never thought they would be.